I'm not the accounting whiz kid because I'm smart. I just learned the shortcuts. So before you struggle too hard with that big bulky textbook, let me make the principles of accounting one much easier to understand. I'll teach you a few shortcuts and it will only cost you the price of a good hamburger and a beer. Ah, I just don't get this stuff. I want to. I plan to have a jewelry business someday, and I want a good business background. I know good accounting is crucial to making it a success. But this is like learning a new language. My French class is even easier. It's not that bad. They might call me a whiz kid behind my back, but that's just because of the glasses. Seriously, it's not hard if you know the right shortcuts. It is sort of like driving a car. At first, it seems impossible to everyone who gets their learning permit. There's too much to try to do all at once. Look in the mirror, stay within the lines, don't run into everything in parallel park. You are sure you'll never get a license. Then one day, it all clicks. It's second nature. You not only can drive, but navigate anywhere. Best yet, you've learned a few shortcuts through town and you'll never have to get stuck going the long way. Okay. If you two up front think it's so easy to understand accounting that you can chat among yourselves, then you come up and teach and I'll get off my feet. <laughs> yeah, come on, <laughs> show me your stuff. I don't think I'm a genius or anything, but I do think I can explain it. Sure, I'll give it a shot. The key to understanding accounting is to master the basics. You need to be able to really understand the stuff, not just memorize it. Apply just five principles. That's it. So let's start with the first one, the basic accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. But what is the purpose of all this? What is the purpose of accounting? That's rather simple. It is to identify and record financial information. To do this, we record items as assets, liabilities, or owner's equity. But those are just words. What do they mean? Simple. An asset is resources a business owns. Liabilities are what creditors claim against those assets. And the owner's equity is the ownership claim on total assets plus business earnings. Here's how it looks. Okay, Jamie, don't let me lose you here when I talk about algebra, because this isn't rocket science. Remember in Algebra 1 when they wrote x equals y plus z? They told us that it was the same equation as x minus y equals z. Well, we can do the same in accounting. Move liabilities to the other side of the equation. Here's the two side by side. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Assets minus liabilities equals owner's equity. Or in simple English, what you own minus what you owe equals your owner's equity. Give us an example from the real world. Piece of cake. Let's say you own a $250,000 house. You're holding a mortgage for $100,000 on it. So what do you think your owner's equity is? I know. Maybe this stuff isn't as hard as I thought. You just plug this into your equation up there. Where it says assets, you put $250,000. Where it says liabilities, you put the hundred grand you owe the bank with a mortgage. So your owner's equity would be $250,000 minus $100,000. That equals $150,000. Okay, that's right. Now, if we go back to the basic accounting equation we started with, it would look like this. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Plug in your information and it'll look like this. House at $250,000 equals mortgage at $100,000 plus owner's equity at $150,000. So let's look at this one more time. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Or we could state it this way. Total asset equals creditor's claim on assets plus owner's claim on assets. So let's recap. The basic accounting equation is simply the way that accounting identifies and records financial information in a way that can be commonly understood and applied. 
Accounting is built on the basics. Got it? Let's move on. I think I get it, but I won't be buying a house for a very long time. My student loans guarantee that. How about giving an example that applies to what I want to do? Okay, that's a good idea. Let's say that Jamie wants to start a new business selling designer jewelry. She has to start somewhere, so she decides to sell from a kiosk at the local mall. Jamie has saved, despite her student loans, $2,000 to put into her new jewelry business called Jamie's Gems. Now, in addition to the $2,000, she is also contributing $2,500 worth of her own designer jewelry. Jamie purchased a $4,500 kiosk from the kiosk wholesaler with a loan of $4,500 from the wholesaler. To get that loan, she signed a promissory note for $4,500. She then ordered $3,000 worth of jewelry accessories with a supplier who gave her 90-day payment terms. Now let's plug that into our equation. Oh, I'm lost again. You can do this. Watch. Here's the basic equation. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Remember the definition of the equation items. An asset is the resources the business owns. Liabilities are creditors' claims against assets. An owner's equity is ownership claim on total assets. Watch this. Jamie, how would you categorize cash? That's easy. An asset I don't have enough of. Tell me about it. How about your $2,500 of amazing jewelry? Of course, that's an asset. So what about that kiosk? Well, I think that would be an asset too. Right. The personal note you now owe for that very same kiosk? Ugh, a liability. What is the $3,000 worth of jewelry accessories? Asset. And finally, there's this $3,000 you now owe sitting in your accounts payable. Definite liability. <laughs> See? It wasn't really that hard. Now let's plug that into the basic accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. If $2,000 cash is placed in the business with no corresponding liabilities, the entire $2,000 is owner's equity. If $2,500 of designer jewelry is placed in the business with no corresponding liabilities, the entire $2,500 is owner's equity. If a $4,500 kiosk, an asset, was purchased with a $4,500 promissory note, liability, then sorry guys, there is no contribution to the owner's equity here. The same goes for the $3,000 jewelry accessories. Yes, they are indeed an asset, but that $3,000 she owes the vendor on it is a liability. Are you following me, Jamie? Yes, it's fairly easy the way you explain it. Yes, so let's follow it to the end. There are total assets of $12,000. There are total liabilities of $7,500. So the total owner's equity is $4,500. So that's the first module. Piece of cake, right? Any questions? Yes, Professor. Well, it's really not a question. You'll be teaching all five modules for your class credit. Got it, Viz Kit. Got it.